Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to EU4 as Mongolia. When we last left off, we had just taken another chunk out of Jianzu here and it looks to me like I guess our big goal is probably going to be just to lower a bit of unrest in these, at least in the lower development provinces who won't really have an effect one way or the other. Which kind of seems, that seems like the smart play to me. I mean, this probably won't make that big of a deal, but 14, I mean, even then it's not a state. and We're probably not going to make it a state anytime soon. This is also kind of important. This is kind of important. And we've got important stuff, so we'll see how that plays out. Uh, but our, ne our next big goal, really, is going to be to wander on over here and conquer the east. Cut off the Ming. And a quick thing I want to see, like, I know we can't do it because we're not, uh... We're not Manchurian, but I want to see if I can find where the button is to raise banners, which if we were playing as one of the Jurchen tribes, we'd actually be able to do. Maybe it has to be a state, but uh, I'm kind of wondering where the button would be, because I'm pretty sure the button actually shows up either here on the state screen or here on this screen, which... Uh, the feature we're not going to get to play around with in this particular playthrough, because we're not Manchurian, though I think if I recall, in the next the next patch, 1.21, uh, they're going to make it so that any Manchurian culture province can in fact become, uh, or can in fact raise banners or something like that, which would lead to some interesting shenanigans if we were to make most of our state culture provinces Manchurian, because then we could culture shift to be Manchurian, and then all kinds of crazy stuff like that. And we also finished our... Right, 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 it is 1495, we have got to discover the new world, we don't have time. Actually, we might not have time anyway. But, damn gummit, we are gonna try. Northwest Pacific? Hell yes. Alright. So here is the big question. We have three years before, you know, this stuff happens. I mean, do I try colonizing over here? Also, this didn't... Yes, it doubled to two. So that's actually... Even, I mean, at the, that point, I mean, it's kind of worth it. Sort of, maybe. And we get some more development out of it. We're going to colonize... This? You know what? Maybe not. We'll, we'll recall you. You stay home for now. Let's send our ships out. But, if we do conquer... Uh, Chuck G here. We might be able to pull this one off. So you know what? We're gonna we're gonna go do that. You're not allied to anyone, are you? Oh wait, 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 wait. No, it's not gonna be that simple. I've gotta I actually have to colonize this province in order for that to be possible. Because that way I can get my whole tribal thing. Unless I just no CB'd them and I don't really wanna do that. Or I could have just fabricated a claim on the cam chills here. Eh. Terrible planning all around on my part. But oh well. Oh well. It's it's okay as long as we... In fact, if we discover... What is it? Yeah, discover America. All we need to do is discover one province in the Americas and we get extra splendor, which is always cool. We can unlock more cool stuff. Like this war taxes thing. In fact, this is minus 100%, so we can raise war taxes for free. I'm an idiot. I didn't even notice that. I thought it was only minus 50%. Or something to that effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, can I refuse them without negative effects? Yes, I'm going to refuse them for one year. Just as a F you to the Ming. For thinking that they're better than me. They're not better than me. Northeast Pacific. Okay. I don't know if that's going to really unlock anything new, but I would really... What is this? Now the tribes demand more land. They always demand more land. Like, what is their deal? Tribes, tribes, not tribes, 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 uh, not tribes. Is that good enough for you? Are you happy? No. Still not happy, huh? Don't really want to give you that. But there's nothing considerably lower, so I guess I have no choice. Alright, take that. It's not terrible, but it's not necessarily ideal either. Sure, why not? You guys have fun with your war. 
All right. Let's see. Uh, admin points. Don't really want to give you that either. But I don't feel... I don't feel confident enough to actually break free. 27,000. That's, uh... Actually pretty scary. Especially... Well, we can have 95% of our army cavalry right now, so... Not bad. Not great, especially because we're still losing fairly large sums of money. Uh, most of which will go away once we deal with this. In fact... Nope. Nothing particularly valuable to do there. Alright, never mind. Hoping we'd be able to suck up some more money there, but it looks like we're not really in the greatest of places. So building up that army might not have been the smartest idea, but I did it anyway because I felt it was the right thing to do. And time will tell if uh, that was in fact the right thing to do. Okay, look, we've, uh, just, we're gonna have discovered America in a second. That's always cool. I do enjoy discovering America. Ming would like their tribute, which I have to give them. Uh, you know what, let's uh, split the army in half. That'll help us a little bit. Good stuff. All right, so slowly we are we are getting there. Manchurians are doing their thing. These guys are doing their thing. So far, life is good. Uh, have we actually discovered America? We did. Okay. I want to double check this, because apparently all you need to do is discover... Let's see. Years 1500. Have a port in ill hurry. No. One of the fall... Oh! We actually could spawn colonization. That would be awesome. Maybe we should slow down a bit. I mean, we're going to need planning here. Like, this is, this is going to be a very planning-centric episode, because I want to do everything in my power to make sure we actually get uh, the new world. And by that, I mean, if we can spawn colonization, then that makes our life a lot easier. It's too far away, so we would have to conquer and core this. So, the odds the odds are not in our favor of that happening, to be honest. Because we have to conquer these guys and these guys. And we can do that, but I don't think we can do that in time. So I kind of kind of squandered a chance there, though. Theoretically, and we do have a lot of coastline. And depending on what, uh, what Europe is doing. It would be kind of cool if I could see what Europe is doing. I mean, I have to assume Portugal. Unless things are really screwed up in the Iberian Peninsula... There is a pretty good chance that, uh, yeah. I like the fact that Japan is very slowly unifying. That's pretty cool. But, uh, also, de holy crap. I was oh, I was going to say, if that was a fort and if they had taken that, that's pretty impressive. How is Shagate doing? I mean, they're losing their wars, but at the same time, they are being pretty badass about it. So, good for them, I guess. But, yeah. I'm also scared that Muscovy is blobbing. Though, this is a never good chance to uh, talk strategy here. Big strategic moment is uh, the Ming, right? Like, in my previous attempts, it was always because the Ming didn't explode. That's basically what killed me. And also horrible, horrible uh, coalitions and stuff. However, because the Ming are basically protecting us, that means that as... We, and everyone who's their tribute. We, and we basically, we can't get a coalition against us while we're a tributary of the Ming. So basically, we're paying our monarch points for uh, that. But on the other hand, we're losing monarch points. Like, I wish they would ask for manpower or money. I'd be so much happier to give them money. And the thing is, it takes about 15, 16 years for that event I was telling you guys about, where uh, the Ming get a disaster if they have, like, a giant horde on their borders before that event fires, like, if we were to break tributary status today. So, it's, uh, it is an interesting situation we find ourselves in. Let's, sure, fabricate a claim on Beijing. Conquer Hulin. Where is Hulin? Hulin is right there. I'm going to cancel that mission for now so we can cycle through. Just because I would much rather, uh, kind of... It's something more useful for our immediate purposes. Anyway. Alright, so basic strategy is hopefully we spawn colonization. That way we don't have to do it. 
Um, we want to break free as soon as possible. Like, it's, it's a hard thing because on the one hand, those those monarch points are slowly starting to add up. You know, every year we're losing a big chunk of them to these guys for, for nothing, basically. And we want to break free. We want to, like, kick the Ming in the face. And basically, all we need to do... All we really need to do, if, uh, like, once we've broken free of tribute, we just need to, like, if they declare war on us, we just need to survive for 15 years for that uh, disaster to hit, because it gives them, like, minus 50 morale or something. Plus, it also has a pretty dramatic effect on on this, on their uh, tributary, or on their uh, mandate. So, really, what do we want to do? We want to wait until, like, if we're going to break free, we want to do it sometime shortly after they have... Uh, done their whole, like, they've passed a new mandate. Or reform, or whatever you want to call it. 1510, when can I go to war for the Koreans? 1503, okay. And again, because we want to get bigger, because the bigger we are, if we're not a tribute, or a tributary, that hurts them. If we can eat a bunch of their tributaries, that also hurts them. A tributary? No. I mean, as... As uh, Asia slowly, like India tends to form into like, as you can see, like a coalition of blobs, which kind of works to our favor when you think about it, because uh, effectively these blobs are going to try fighting the tributaries sooner or later, and Ming is going to try to be protecting those tributaries, which means Ming could get distracted in a war down here, and that's probably what we're going to want to keep our eyeballs open for. Yes, that is likely the key. So basically, get big, conquer as much as we can, break free, hopefully we survive for the 15 or 16 years it takes for the uh, unguarded frontier event to fire, or disaster to fire, rather, and then we basically just keep punching the Ming in the face every single time we can go to war with them until they fall apart. And then once they are weak enough, we claim the title of Emperor of China for ourselves, and... We collect all the tribute, and then we become the captain now. Or something like that, basically. That's my grand strategy in a nutshell. What's this? Religious connections. Alright, also if I can, I need to forcibly convert to Confucian. Which basically means... Actually, this could work out to my favor. If I get rid of this, and I like what we've got going here, but if I get rid of it now... And then I send a missionary to one of the Confucian provinces. Hopefully I could uh, spawn Confucian zealots who will then convert our country for us. I hope. And uh, do something with that. Though I've never really played around with that before. And I kind of wish that uh, as a Tangri nation it was possible. Like there was just a de decision here. Uh, where you could convert to whatever religion. Or if it's easier to convert to other religions. Like with your syncretic faith once like the population got so far. But, then again, if it was easy, then there wouldn't be any fun in it, so that's a thing to consider as well. Alright, so we're still losing a lot of money. In fact, we would still be losing a lot of money even if it wasn't for this, so... I guess we kind of have to lower our maintenance here and just wait for the, uh, the stuff to happen. Are you really a big deal? What separatists are you? Jean Zhu? Minus 2.9... All right, so friendly troops aren't even causing this to be below zero, so we'll move over one just to just to make things a little easier for us. We'll keep exploring the world. All right, there we go. That uh, kind of gets rid of that a little bit, ever so ever so slightly, which will slightly slow these guys down. Wait, there was a oh, this fight over here, right? Eh. All right, there we go. So far, so good. No real problems. Everything is going quite swimmingly. And, uh, okay, there, never mind. At most importance, or we lose one, one prestige is not anything to cry about. I'll be honest, I am tempted. I am tempted to say no, just to see if we could get away with it. I mean, I feel the answer is probably no, we wouldn't get away with it. And I do kind of want to finish eating Jean Zhu in Korea, because I'm, I'm not convinced that the Ming will actually 
All right, we'll we'll give them our their tribute. I wish they'd stop asking it though. That would be that would be greatly appreciated. But uh, yeah, once we finish eating Jeonzu in Korea, then we will probably be okay. Should I spend points to reduce this? I mean, it's probably not making that big of a deal. They're also kind of important. Ah, so many decisions to make, really. All right, how are we doing here? We're at 80%. It's down to 24. Don't really want to raise autonomy in any of these provinces, so we are going to have to fight them. Oh, okay, it's ticked over to 90. We will... Oh, good, we're making some level of money again. They are now going to demand military power. Okay. Colonize Ohosk. No, we'll we'll do this, because then we get extra production and lower development cost anyway. Alright. Good stuff. What is this? We'll go for the mercantilism, as usual, because I do enjoy a good bit of mercantilism. We are not going to pick this up. Or are we? No, 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 because we, we don't have time to colonize anyway. Let's see, 422, 27, yeah, we wouldn't even be able to reach it anyway. So, no point in that. In fact, I'm almost wondering to myself if it's worth ditching this idea at this point. We'll see. And if we don't spawn, excuse me, if we don't spawn, spawn colonialism, there's not really much point in having it, is there? So, that's a thing to consider. Are we that far ahead on military power? Apparently we are. You see, that's why I should have picked up some military ideas, clearly. Um, is there a province with tribes? There we go. I'll just, uh... I'll just give the tribes a couple of... A couple of points here and there. Just to... Just to round things out a little bit. And hopefully get the tribes off my back in the future. There we go. That'll do. For the time being. So we're going to need those points to spread uh, colonization if we are not lucky enough to actually spawn it, which could well end up being the case. You never know. What's this? Tribes lose loyalty or we gain loyalty? I might as well. If I can keep them loyal forever and ever and ever, then that works out just fine for me. Oh goody, these are the only rebels we have. All right. Oh, wait, I could also uh, do that. Let's see, make them understand, or we can kill them. Sure, why not? I and mean, when is killing natives ever ever gone poorly, right? Uh, Ming want their tribute. Sure, why not? Get some tax in a random province of some kind, apparently. Oh, dear. All right, well, we can... Uh, it had to be in the mountains. Everything's in the mountains. God help us all. Okay. Merge these guys together. Go ahead and kill them, please. Please, please kill them. Do it. Do it. Okay. Do it. Do it. Do it for... Do it for your god, king, person. Oh, thank god. Alright, so now we've taken care of everyone there. Which means there is nothing else for us to do except regain our manpower and go ahead and fight the Oirat. Yes. And sooner or later we will we will defy the Ming. Just make sure we're moving these guys to the right province. Okay. We will defy the Ming sooner or later. And when that time comes. It's probably not even worth it. But I am. I'm going to fabricate a claim anyway, because it makes stuff faster. Actually, let's look at this again, by the way. Let's see. Transfer subject, aggressive expansion, war taxes cost. Now, this is all pretty good. Apparently, even this is actually really good compared to what I thought it would be. And in fact, this may be something critical to us as well. But then again, improved war taxes. I mean, getting able to raise war taxes basically for free does also sound very, very appealing. Let's do this so we're making money. For the time being, what's this? Change, uh, Sunni faith is your ever religion. Now they want admin points. 
I am really tempted to go ahead and just break... What's this? Someone else has become a tribute. Alrighty then. Good for them. Good for them. Alright. Those guys have declared their independence. Okay. Alright. What is this? Peace has been accepted. Shagatay will renounce their claims. Shagatay will force the... Really? You went through all that trouble and you didn't even take any land? Are you crazy? You are a tribute, right? You are. Okay. You know what? I might as well just go to war now. I mean, clearly... Clearly they can't do much to stop me. So uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get this war on the road. I don't think they... Yeah, they have only like six men. What are they going to do against me? Nothing. Uh, let's see. What, what do we want to take? Ulengom? Ulengom. That sounds good to me. Oh, and Buratia is their vassal. I mean... Does Buratia have an army? I mean, I have to assume they have something, but... Uh... Eh. Alright, let's uh, dunk a couple of guys in here. Yeah, something like that seems okay. You can go here. You can go here, and then we'll just kind of continue blitzing our way slowly across the countryside. And it will be good. Very good indeed. All right. Ah, oh, this is going to be beautiful. What's going on over here? Okay, you scared me for a second there, game, making me think that uh, you might be doing something. Something untoward and unwanted. Oh, wait, no, there's Buratia's army. Okay. We're going to end up getting attacked by these guys, aren't we? Yeah. Alright, you circle back. And you guys go over here. These guys stay here. We're gonna need to get some people over here. Okay, we're being attacked, but we're still killing them. You know what? You go over here. Alright, so far so good. We're gonna get kind of hurt by this, but we'll probably be fine. Uh... Oop. Yeah, break off the cannons and move the cannons directly into here. That wasn't quite my plan, but it should work out. And uh, now also seems like as good a time as any to wrap this episode up. I mean, we're right in December here, which means we will find out at the beginning of next episode whether or not we spawn colonization. So fingers crossed, everyone. But until the next time, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below to let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all you in the next video.